Well, Secretary Pierre, it's wonderful to be here with you and with the great champion, the Appropriations Committee, Congresswoman Delore and Mayor. It's wonderful to have a chance to be with you as well. And thank you to all of you. That's number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are all in this together, right? We've been working really hard. We've been, yeah. And, and, and to obviously uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris, let me just say, when we look at what we are doing on our end, there's this thing called the Farm Bill that we write every five years, which is such a, such a misnomer, right? By the way, it's coming up again. Hello, we're all going to be working hard. <laughs> and we, but it's nutrition policy. I mean, in our committee, we're doing everything from school lunches, and I just heard Michelle Obama talking and the great victories that we've had that we need to keep. But our food and nutrition, our the largest investments in land and water conservation are made in this thing we call the Farm Bill. So what we're doing on climate is so critical. What we're doing on local foods is so critical. There's a whole range of things supporting our farmers, large and small. But the challenge, and I think the opportunity, and what we've been building on is to make sure food is accessible and available for everyone, regardless of where you live, whether you're in the farthest rural areas or whether you are in the city or the suburbs or everything in between, that access is available, that support is available uh, to be able to have the kind of access to food, and then that we are building for everyone to make sure that there is accessibility and affordability for children in school, for families, and so on. Now, there's a lot of ways to do that, and I have to say going to this farm bill, and I'm, we need your help, because number one is to not go backwards. And so every single time we go into the farm bill, I'm, and I was just asked today in the hallway by the press. Uh, our, we have friends in the house. I see we had, uh, wonderful friends, you know, and, and, and uh, wonderful friends. But on the other side of the aisle, they say, well, we're going to write a farm bill, and we're going to have to cut SNAP. What do you think about that? And I say, we're not cutting SNAP. Oh, no. <laughs> so... <laughs> but I'm going to need your help, and that's what... I do every time, <laughs> but we need to move forward from that. But we've got to make sure we're not losing ground on anything we've done, and then we have to build and build and build. Now, this last time in 2018, when we couldn't get an increase that we desperately needed, we did something, we put in some language called updating the thrifty food plan, which hadn't been done since 1975, mm. and we've changed the way we cook since 1975, the, the assumptions on which the amount of money needed by a family has dramatically changed. And so what happened when we did that, we put it in, former administration wouldn't administer it, wouldn't do it. President Biden stepped up, we sent a letter right away. He looked at it and got, let's do this. And Secretary Vilsack did it. 21% increase in SNAP by just updating the thrifty food standard. So we have to keep that. And I'm mentioning this. We have to keep that. And we want to build on the other things we've done. And I will just close with a couple of examples about why local community ideas are so important. The creativity that comes from the community, from all of you, that we can build on, that comes from the cities. The mayor and I were talking about this. Um, I see my great friend Oren Hesterman here and our great Fair Food Network folks. Back in 2009, we had five farmers markets in Detroit that started something in part with a Kellogg Foundation grant. Um, to say, you know, at a farmer's market, if you're using SNAP, we're going to give you twice the value. We called it double up bucks. Double up bucks. So they tried it. It was great. And so in the farm bill that I wrote in 2014, we did a statewide, a nationwide demonstration project. So successful. Now we're going into grocery stores. So now it's nationwide. We want to build on that. But that idea came from the community. The second thing that I will say is that during the Flint water crisis, we knew that the best way to mitigate the horrible exposure of children to lead was good nutrition. Two things happened. Our Michigan milk producers stepped up, first ones to donate milk. And we, out of that, developed a milk donation program that is now, dairy donation program that's now nationwide. And Dr. Mona, who was our champion in stepping forward on the Flint water crisis, started giving children a produce prescription. The clinic, the health clinic was right above the farmer's market. 
And the children would come in and she would say, okay, you have to do this. This is your prescription. And they were given vouchers to go downstairs and buy fruits and vegetables. We've now got that in the farm bill, but it needs to be expanded. We need to be doing it from a health standpoint as well. But Mr. Secretary, I'm sorry if I took too long, but I just want to say that the good <laughs> idea, because we could talk forever, but the good ideas come from the community. I'm anxious to hear your good ideas that we can build on. We have done so much. Um, and uh, thank you for all that uh, all of you are doing. We just want to build and grow and grow and grow and address what is basically, I think, a moral issue for all of us. No person in America should go hungry. Everyone should have the opportunity to be as healthy as possible. And that's what this is about. And thank you as well, Secretary. Rice, for all that you have done to bring us here.